What's going on guys, Rizzo Slash here, welcome back to another video. Today, 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 I'm going to be showing you how to make a switchable nether portal. This, how it, this is how it'll work by the end of the video. Very cool, very simple. But before we get into the video, I just want to make sure I did not make this model. Mumbo Jumbo did. He's amazing at Redstone. Make sure you check his channel out. I watch his channel all the time. Amazing channel. Now, I just want to say thank you, Mumbo Jumbo. You are amazing. Best redstoner I've ever seen on YouTube. Anyway, let's get on with the video. So first of all, what you want to get is you want an obsidian. Well, not an obsidian. You want 10 obsidian for the overall frame of the structure. You also want a dispenser. And these things will actually come last. The redstone part, which is actually very easy. That This is actually the easiest model you can find on YouTube. So that's good now what you want to do is you you obviously want to find a nice spot to put your you know portal i'm gonna place it let's say right here make sure you have a little bit of space behind the portal because you need a little bit of redstone there now what you want to do is you want to place two portals not two portals two obsidian blocks and then your blocks in the corner if you do not know how to make a nether portal do not worry i'll show you how to make that too make pl play Wow. Place two blocks right here, and then place your, you know, blocks. It doesn't matter if these are obsidian or not. Just place blocks in the corner, just like that. And then place three redstone, not redstone, obsidian, right on top of this. Just three high. Now what you want to do is you want to place stone and two obsidian. So, in the end result, you should have something like this. Now what you want to do is you want to place stone right here behind the two blocks of obsidian you placed. Place it right here and here and place the lever in the middle of the three, you know, obsidian. Make sure it's on the left side. Make sure it's on the left side. That's all I got to say. F make sure it's on the left side. Now what you want to do is you want to get uh, any block because no one will really be seeing this block. You want to place or place yeah two blocks up get your redstone place it right there then place three blocks up so you should have this stair formation get a redstone torch and it should look like this stair thing yeah a stair thing now what you want to do is you want to get a piston and make sure it is pushed and all the way out to the last dispenser or the second dispenser now what you want to do is you want to get your observer and place it right there Yes, make sure the red is facing away from the piston and make sure the, you know, this boring face is facing into the piston. You can make sure of this by breaking the piston and, and checking. Let's do this again. And technically, when that happens, if you're in a good version of Minecraft, that should have turned red. Now, once that thing has turned red, you want to place like kind of a, a mini L shape like this. Now, place redstone dust leading to this dispenser. Now, what you want to do is once you have done this, make sure to place flint on the left side or on the left dispenser and place water on the right dispenser. Make sure the flint goes in the left dispenser because if it goes in the right dispenser, uh, I don't think this will work and uh, yeah basically because this observer will be firing first because of the circuit we just made right here the mini circuit you could say and then when we press the lever again this fire this will fire this circuit causing this circuit causing the piston to extend back and then the observer will catch that. The, uh, the observer observes everything. It'll uh, catch that the piston has extended back. It'll send a redstone output and it'll go to this dispenser. And that's how. So it goes first, second. Now let's just place some stone right here so no one sees, you know, the secrets of the back now you have seen the video leave a like but if you still want to stick around and you want to know how to decorate this thing you know i'll show you now what you want to do is you want to get some stairs some let's just clear our inventory a clear inventory is a good inventory well at least that's what i think of now what you want to do is you want to get something like this you know these blocks just like this 
and now you want to get some lanterns, um, uh, specifically four in our case. So now what you want to do is you want to place stone brick stairs right here. Place some smooth, or not smooth, stone brick slabs right there. And place just smooth stone right here. Beautiful. Now what you want to do is you want to place something like this, you know, going all the way across and do it three. Not three, four. Just like this. Just four like this. Now what you want to do is you want to place stone brick stairs along the front. If you want, if you have, so, you know, some more stone brick, you can actually do something like this going on to make a cool pedestal type of shape thingy mabobber. I'm not a builder. So, yeah, I'm just going to call it a thingy mabobber. So, n once you added the thingy mabobbers on the side of the build, you can look at it in awe. You know, do some nice Italian accents to make you look fancy. Mwah! Mamma mia! Mozzarella! Now, once you have done that, your ego has boosted. Congratulations! Place some lanterns in the corners to make it look really nice. I like how lanterns look. If you do not have lanterns, trust me, I never get lanterns when I am uh, in a survival series for some reason. I always use torches. You could use torches too. I'm just going to use lanterns because it looks cool. And yeah, that's basically the only reason. But if you want to add some more aesthetic, you know, you want to be over the top. You want to be, you want your friends to be in awe of how good you are. Do something like this, you know, do something like this going on, and then place a stone brick stair, oops, a stone brick, just like that, and then place, you know, something like this, y something like that. Place it like a post right here, yeah, just like that, beautiful, I love how it works so perfectly, amazing. Now let's just do the same thing on the other side, if you do not know what I'm building, I'm just bas basically building like, you know, uh, what is this called? A pillar? Yeah. Building a pillars. You know, add some floating things. I, I, I don't know. Add some floating lanterns. You can also place it on the top. Oh, no, you can't. Never mind. You can also place it. I'm just going to place three right here because I like the look of hanging lanterns. I don't know. It just looks so cool. Now, um, if you want, you can also block the top off. I'm actually going to do that in this scenario. This is actually not part of the tutorial. I'm adding this on because... First of all, it looks cool. I love how, you know, builds just look cool. That is always fun. And as you can see in my demonstration, I did not have this. This is completely up to do, cut to you. Aesthetic is amazing. Now, what you want to do is, if you want, you can also place some fences like this because you will see some mobs occasionally come out of the nether portal. So at a gate, a gate just in case because if this is in your house that's gonna suck because then you'll have some normal some some weird you know pig man just saying hi i'm in your house gonna steal your diamonds and your gucci you don't want that you want to keep your gucci and your diamonds so close the gates but in this case it's not on yet so let's do this turn it on and voila and just in case for the fences, if you left it on, forgot to turn it off, you got fences. Second layer of defense, am I right? Now what you want to do is you turn it on. Turn it off. Very easy. I actually love how small it is. Beautiful. It's actually very small. I love how um, it's only like two blocks width. And it's only like one, two, three, four, five, five blocks like length. That's actually very small. If you think this is hard redstone, trust me, if I can make it, you can make it. It's it's very easy. All my tutorials are very easy stuff. But yeah, I this might look big to you. It's actually tiny compared to other creations I seen on other YouTube's channels, YouTubers channels. I'm not saying their channels are bad. I'm just saying this is the easiest w one and it's the most effective one. Well, it's the most easiest one. Let's just say that. Yeah, it's the most easiest one you can find on YouTube because, I mean, come on. This is tiny. You got you to gotta agree with me. This is tiny. Tiny as, man. Tiny as. Now what you want to do is you want to go down 
type a comment on how you made it better because all my viewers are professionals okay how many times do i have to say this all my viewers are professionals okay you are watching my video you are a viewer that means you are a professional so tell me in the comments how you upgraded my build how you thought my build was strange how you thought i was strange i get a lot of those but how but most importantly don't 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 just make it and it doesn't work and then just leave no type a comment and say to me if it doesn't work if you even comment at all um since i get so little commenters I, I respond back to my comments, to my commenters, to my viewers. I respond back. I heart their comment, I like their comment, and I type back to their comment. So if you want those things, make sure to leave a comment. If you don't want your, th if you don't want those things, you don't need to leave a comment. Anyway, leave a like. That shows me that you love this video. Amazing, beautiful. Thank you for letting me know that you like this video if you enjoyed this video also leave a like but if you enjoyed it so much if you enjoyed it so much make sure to subscribe that'd be so important to me we reached 40 subscribers guys let's get it so yeah make sure to subscribe next goal 50 yes so yeah make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed the rear slash tutorial army i mean I, i'm not I, I wasn't the best at naming so yeah and if you want you know if you want you can forgot the last thing shoot yo yeah if you want hit that notification bell because every time when i make a video you will be notified but enough selling out you don't want to hear that you just came here for the tutorial and i gave you a pretty lit tutorial anyway see you guys later bye